Hi, so the latest CV to come out from uh, Palo Alto Networks uh, affecting anything 1016 uh, H6 and lo well lower than H6 so anything up to that in fact actually the um, the versions that are affected are anything below 10.2.2 H2 uh, 10.0.11 H1, 9.1.14 H4, 9.06 H3, 8.1.23 H1. Prisma access isn't affected by it, so uh, so you don't need to worry with Prisma access and say anything above those versions um, that I read out. They are they are okay. Um, the 10.1.6 H6 has already been released the ETA for the other fixes, so the um, upgrades in order to fix it, the hot fixes, in order to address this issue amongst others, um, are supposed to be the, the, the week of August 15. Um, say 10.16 H6 is already out. So in the meantime, um, just to go along with uh, any workaround that's needed, I just wanted to talk about the CVE. A little bit what it actually is so it's a reflected denial of service attack so they can uh, an attack can come along and they can attack another target and it will appear to come from your IP address come from your hardware um, this is done it's done using the URL filtering profile that's on an outside zone that has a URL filtering action of block now that would normally only come around by misconfiguration because as a general rule you wouldn't have that on an outside interface there'd be no reason to have it on an outside interface um, but if it's if there is misconfiguration then you are you're open to this at those code levels the workaround um, is and most people I don't know, not most people necessarily would have this already configured, but you can have at least one part of it configured, I would have thought, for his, from his own protection profiles, is that it needs to have, the traffic needs to be allowed to pass from zone A to zone B, let's say, where zone A is the outside zone, and then the packet-based uh, attack protection is not enabled, and zone protection profile for zone A, uh, with TC pin, TCP SYN with data and TCP fast open and the flood protection with SYN cookies. SYN cookies is something that people don't always have, especially if they've got smaller devices that are serving, uh, say, web traffic and, and things like this because, because of the resource load on the box. Um, but in this particular instance, it is a workaround until you upgrade to 10.1.6 H6 or uh, the other versions 10 what did I say, 10.2.2H2 and uh, 9.1.4.14H4 and, and so on. So the workaround is to enable those two, those two protections on the outside zone, zone protection profile. So for instance, on my, my PA220 here, that's my zone protection profile for outside. My SYN cookies is based on the, so this is based on the, uh, connection capability of the of the box as well um, sync cookies the alarm rate is 3000 I mean you'd have to tune that based on how many connections per second you see it on your device and obviously the activate is zero and that's part of trying to make this um, trying to make this this work or the, the workaround work that is the, the pertinent part and then the packet based attack protection you've got the uh, TCP drop You'd normally put those in anyway, mismatched overlapping TCP segment. You wouldn't want that coming into your, to your system, split handshake. But the pertinent ones are TCP SYN with data and TCP fast open. So if you just um, were looking to enable both of those and then commit that to your to your firewall, commit that configuration to firewall, and that's the workaround. And as I say, for, for the actual the, the fix within the software, um, 1016 is out now and the others they're aiming to get out by the week of August the 15th so um, so yeah so that is that's CV 2022-0028 the reflected amplification denial service for vulnerability in URL filtering 
Um, as I say, it doesn't. I don't think it's easily um, easily uh, used. I don't think it's easily exploited because they would, an attacker would have to find a box that's vulnerable to it, and they would have to. Um, it would have to be misconfigured or configured in that particular way. And then they would, I suppose, then they'd be able to attack it. But for all those things, you're looking at a perfect storm to get to all those things. Um, but as with all vulnerabilities, of course, it's better to better to be safe than sorry uh, and configure it. 1016H6 is obviously it's, it's working its way down the maturity of the 10.1 train, uh, which has had some bugs in it up till now, which is now becoming more and more stable. Um, so that's it. So. That's the workaround.